Good evening and welcome to Knights Stadium, home of football. As far as the Melbourne Knights are concerned, beautiful sunshine. Why so far this evening? Just at the other end, the previous uh, attack, though, saw Dimi had some runners just lose his footing. It's a little bit patchy out there. Had he not lost his footing, maybe a shot, as we see. A little bit of trouble for Nick Feely trying to get uh, off that last line of defence. And he does have a skull, but it's turned over again. Here's an opportunity, Duzal. Duzal, the through ball. Shot at goal. And good save again by the defence as Feely was... Offline and the in the form of uh, white shirts, all confronting him back to Sewell. And now the Knights drive it out towards the right hand side. This is a better opportunity inside the attacking half. Here's a chance now. Albano is he put down inside the penalty area? A few of the Knights supporters are saying penalty. I'm not sure. It's not really the... a windy night either, so it's not really one of those nights where you'd expect a massive home ground advantage other than just the comfortable surrounds for, for the Knights. Maybe that is a factor. Most people are sitting here in the grandstand or, or in, the, in the lounge, but of course you've got those uh, die-hard supporters, rain, hail or shine. It is a chance for a goal, and Melbourne Knights score a goal and they'll get excited now. Brilliant goal by the Knights as they brought it inside the attacking half and in the penalty area down the left-hand side. Watson is in their most attacking position as Anwar turns it over and Watson gets on the end of it. He is onside. He'll be battling with Feely and two opponents, but great defence. It's lobbed back and now offside. Offside, unfortunately, for the Melbourne Knights on the right-hand side. The Melbourne Knights players right on the edge of the penalty area, not far from where Sewell will take this. So he lobs it and they get out and they hit it away and they score the second goal that proves how little I know about football. I thought they were too high, but it's come out the back and Hamish Watson has scored the goal. Second goal for Knights. They lead 2-0. They were very clever the way that Watson got out the back. He's under pressure. He puts it up to the top of the penalty area. Curling ball, Tellerico. Good header at the back by Frangic. Does well to protect his goalkeeper. That was a promising move by Pascoe Vale. Back to the 10-yard box. They have another chance. Could have been some handball and a player brought down. And there's going to be a penalty. A penalty. In handball. This was uh, this was the break that Pascal needed. Now Hatsu Maradas has to score. He does. Oh, and he just gets it in. It was a good effort by Gifkins. He kicked right into the body of Gifkins, who did well to thrust his boot out, and it ricochets off the knee roll and goes in. To the challenge. So there, uh, again, Pascal Vale, that last possession they had, can't get that through ball going. They're lacking that final touch. And, and there it is, 2-1 win to Melbourne Knights. They'd be happy with that. They hung on despite a goal, a penalty for the Pasco Vale side in the second half. Good evening, Knights fans. 2-1 win to the Knights tonight. A much-needed win, a must-win game tonight for us. But we got there in the end. wasn't easy. But thanks to Mr. Raiden Bridget Bryce over here, who got his first goal of the season. Mate, you must be over the moon to finally have scored. Yeah, my first goal of the night was amazing in front of the fans and actually come up 2-1 to get the win. There's nothing better. Oh, I was beautiful, beautiful diving header there as well. You made your presence felt. You look like a gazelle leaping up for that <laughs> ball. Absolutely brilliant stuff. I mean, how do you feel, like you said, I mean, you, you keep getting into the box. You've had a few opportunities during the year, but just can't get on the end of it. This time, perfect header. Yeah, well, it came off the shoulder to me, honestly. Oh, I'll like claim that, but a goal's a goal. I'll take anything for this club, so. Well, maybe next time just go with the shoulder. I <laughs> don't even use the <laughs> head anyway. Yeah, but yeah. look, it wasn't an easy game in the end there either. I mean, Pasco Val, they're in all sorts of bother this season. Well, since the second half of the season, but they came out and played football. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a hard game. They come out, they played well. We, um, we sat off them a little bit in the first half and we allowed them to play, but once the game went on, I thought we tightened up in that bit. And just like, just to get three points like in a must-need win game. Well, the boys made a promise and yeah. And yeah, delivered. It. And absolutely, yeah. thank God we got the three points. So we're still in the mixer there for the top six. But like you said, the game was open a lot of, a lot of times, but the defense seemed pretty tight. Unfortunately, we got, uh, conceded, conceded the pen there um, halfway through the second half. Getting a bit of nervous times there around then? Or? Uh, not really nerves, like I think myself and Freno, we sort of drove, drove the defence to stay relaxed and I think, I think we dealt with everything quite well except for 
And that penalty was just a bit, a bit of miscommunication, uh, but other than that, I think defensively we were quite well. And we had opportunities too. There could have been three, four, five goals tonight, really. Yeah, first half could have been three and then straight off the back. We had chances. Even they had a couple of chances as well, but I think, yeah, we had the better ones and we should have been up a lot more than what we were. And next week, we've got Green Gully away from home. Never easy to go out to Green Gully Reserve, play them. It was a tough game even back here at home. Yeah. In the reverse fixture, what are you expecting from um, the Green Boys? Well, they're going to come out They're going to come out strong because they're fighting for the top six as well, and that's where we want to be. So, Boys says three points, so we're not leaving with anything less than three points. We beat them last time. No reason why we can't beat them again. Bryson, congratulations on your first goal, mate. It was absolutely beautiful to see. Lifted our hearts. 2-1 wins to the Knights, ladies and gentlemen. Come out to Green Gully Reserve next week, Saturday, 27th of July, 3pm. The more the merrier. Come cheer on the boys and hopefully another three points for the Mighty Knights. Catch you till next time. Thanks, guys.